What's going on guys, my name is Fiditex, welcome back to a brand new episode of the post game for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So we've got ahead and made it to Ula Ula Island where we've meet it up with Annabelle and Luka yet again to go ahead and capture a brand new Ultra Beast. So if you guys are excited, give it a thumbs up, it is super greatly appreciated and be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. So once again we have already gathered the intel of the UB that we are targeting, Mr. Nanu provided us with everything that we needed to know. The UB has been sighted on the island, as known by the codename Blaster. It is a fearsome beast that apparently possesses a fearsome energy that will burn anything. And not a single sighting either. Hmm. Blaster Faller. I no idea which kind of um, Ultra Beast to be talking about. We can't afford any delays. I will protect the populated areas as usual. Christian will go to the site. Mr. Lucky will stand by. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, alright, Chief, I think you're pushing yourself too far. I would agree, but I'm not happy into this field by myself this time, and... I'm fine, I can still handle this. You have to watch my back after all, don't I? Yes, ma'am. Alright, cool. So I have no idea whereabouts we're going to head off. Christian, you're the known your Pokeballs for Beast Balls of this mission. Thank you very much. Are you going to tell us regular spots? Let us get them out of the way, my young friend. Madame Wiki finished analysing all the data of the Greek Gatherer, the last UB you caught. Alright, cool. Well, let's tell me about the UB. Two locations, Hannah Desert and Mali Garden. Protect two, in protect two individuals. Okay, cool. So, Mali, Mali Garden, where the hell is that? Yo, I've got hardly no Pokemon. They're all dead. Um, Melee Island. Let me go. let me try to find this place. It's not there. Not there. Nope. Is it down here? No. No. It's got to be something around here. Meadow. And that's the only thing I... Yeah, the Ula Ula Meadow. Let me just double check because I, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that is the place he said. I saw Meadow. Oh, Hannah Desert. And... And Malay Garden, that's it. Malay Garden and Hannah Desert, I think. Yo, I feel so bad that I can't I can't remember these places and he's literally just telling me. So desert and garden. Okay. So that's this is the biggest desert I can see. So I will try up there. I'm guessing it's just straightforward up here. There is another Zygar call here, so I might as well go ahead and scoop that up. I wonder if there's going to be any trainers, because we've not actually... Oh. I use ghost-type trial. Oh, I have! I'm the Alolan champion! <laughs> you got to move out of the way for me. Yeah, this is a brand new part I've not been to, so... So it'll be different. I've not seen this part. Oh, cool. Ah! Oh, I wish it would have just popped up straight away, then. Because that would have been wild. Um, I actually trying to remember... Oh, the Alolan Dug Trio. I'm trying to remember what Ultra Beast this is. I think it's the the huge one where its arms are floating. I think it is that one. I just can't quite remember. It's here, because you can hear the music, so. Ah, oh, Jesus. I mean, they just appear, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, a Sandile. Yo, I can't wait to like start up for when the game comes out in um, England, you know, just so everybody can see and experience this game. That's what I'm most excited for. And it's Wednesday, my dude, so it not be too long. Not be too long, Jesus. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Here we go, finally ran into one. See which one this is. Oh, it's this thing. Oh my lord, look at his face, what? 
Alright, I don't even know what this thing is. It's defense for a sharp bullet. Jesus, look at the size of this thing. It's level 65. Alright, cool. Um, I guess I psychic. Let's see how much damage that'll do. Not a lot. Not a lot. So he goes for the seed bomb. I think this is the Ultra Beast they were mentioning that literally sets things on fire, right? So let's go for an Ice Beam, see how much damage that'll do. Not a hell of a lot, Jesus. This Seed Bomb is taking its toll on me. Yo, why is this thing not buffed up by the Sandstorm? Jesus, what? So they must be like immune to all... Do you think they could be immune to all um, weather conditions? I think that possibly could be the reason. That's wild, they are all way overpowered, these Ultra Beasts. Alright, let's go ahead and throw a Beast Ball and hopefully we can scoop this thing up on the first try. Oh wow, it got straight out. As he goes for the Seed Bomb again, um... I'm just going to throw another Beast Ball. I knew we've got revives just so in case. Can we capture it this time? Please? Yes, thank you. Alright, sweet. I really need to... I really need to um, have a look at its defenses and stuff. What the hell was that called? Celestilia? Celestially? I don't know. I don't know. One kind of Ultra Beast. Witnesses have seen it burn down a forest and expelling gas from its two arms. Oh god. Um, sent to the box. So we've still got one last one to capture. So let me heal up Nebby. Big... I never know what this does. Status conditions. Alright, cool. So hopefully we can just run into this one while we're on his way out. Ah! Oh. Jesus, I thought that thing was going to attack me then in the sand. Here we go. Finally we ran into the last one. That took a good five minutes. This thing's hella ugly though. Jesus Christ. Alright, Nibs. Um, I'm just going to go for the Phantom Force, to be honest, and try hit this thing as hard as I can. Yep, the Sandstorm still hits me, which is wild, even though I'm not even there. Oh my lord, his special defense. And he's got iron defense. Jesus. Alright, let's throw off an Ice Beam. Hopefully we can pick off the Freeze. No, it happens to me all the time in the UCL. Why can't we get one? I love the Ultra Beast music, though. I think it's, like, really good. It, it fits them re really perfect, you know, like, really alert and stuff like that. No, we didn't pull it. But! We should be able to go ahead and scoop it up. Uh, with that amount of HP. Alright, Beast Ball, hopefully we'll be able to capture this. Then we've got... We've got this one, then we've got the one that looks like a moth, and then we've got um, the Guzzlord one. Oh, and you had to just scoop out right at the last second. Automize. I don't know why they make you catch so many. <laughs> you would have just thought there would have just been one and you just catch that one. But obviously you don't. You have to catch like three, two and three. Oh, for God's sake, Jesus, dude, come on. This is the last beast ball I'm throwing at you guys. Please, can I catch you now? 
One, two, three, please. Yes. Thank you very much. So, that is the last one we had to capture. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. I think I'm going to put him in the party just because. Um, I want to actually have a look at his stats and stuff like that when he's healed up. Um, I'm going to send Jess back to the PC. Alright, let's get up out now. Report it back to Luca. Alright, let's get up out. It's not actually too far away from us, is it? So we literally just... <laughs> Yo. I love how that monkey's just legit just stood there. <laughs> Tapu Village. In fact, how... Where the hell was it? Was it actually there where... On Route 13, wasn't it? Yeah, literally, I had to just go... Oh, man, what am I doing here? I might as well heal up while I'm here, though. Um, all I have to do is just go right. I didn't have to come all this way. I didn't understand why I did it, but I did. I want to take a look at that thing's um, special defense, though. Yo, the team. The team's hella crazy at the minute. Let's just have a look. Jesus, the he the HP is wild. Uh, 156 defense, 159, 202. Skull bash. Oh my lord. That's just too much. Why would you do that? Why would you? It's like these Ultra Beasts are super strong, so you know they're not going to be using like competitive or anything like that. But it it's just wild that the fact. It is just wild that the fact, you know, these Pokemon are actually here. Uh, you're trying your best to try and capture them, so I wonder if you'll be able to use them in the battle tree. You have a full team of those, and you'll just be able to rock out. Legit. You'll not even need to worry and uh, anything like that. I don't know what this is, though. This looks cool. Alright, cool. So, we finally finished the mission. So, it looks like all we've got to do is go ahead and talk to Luka. Finish the mission. Let's go see what Annabelle's doing. There's gotta be something wrong with her. Alright, finish sending the data to you, be protected at HQ and Miss Wiki as well. Thank you for your hard work, Christian. We should learn everything there is to know about Blaster. And we've also had word from headquarters there is only one UB left for us to take care of. Oh. And we had our hands full with so many individuals for this last UB. There was a rather dangerous situation, but you were alright, Chief. Yes, of course, both me and my Pokemon are fine. Of course, we ran into some difficult situations being surrounded by the UBs and outflanked. They made it rather touch and go for a while, as I feared. What is it, Mr. Looker? You've been acting rather odd while now, haven't you? Ah, no, it's nothing. Could it be? Could it be our long delayed feast? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. What a disaster! He's going to do that, and then we're going to have reports, aren't we? You already know. Or is she going to come back? I know it may be a little late, but there is something I would like to tell you. There's something that happened about 10 years ago now. I came to the Alola region at the time as part of a three-person team to er eradicate the UB. Of course, we didn't know what the UBs back then. It was simply a dangerous creature. My team succeeded in chasing down the UB, and then we tried to put an end to it. But somebody screwed up. Nanu. The fact of you the fool here felt sorry for the monster, even if it was only for a moment. That moment was enough to get the third member of our team done in by the UB. I cannot deny, I made an error of judgement. I failed to consider the fact that she was not trained for combat. She was just bait for the UB. And international police knew it. The UBs relentlessly soak out those, seek out those who have passed through an ultra wormhole. The passage must change then somehow as they have been bathed in some energy, something that's causing the beasts to smell. And it's not that the UBs can trap such people as sniffing them out. And it's not like the monsters come here by choice, they don't want to be here. So they smell the familiar scent and think it'll be a wormhole, they'll get home. Nano, you called her bait. She really was, wasn't she? Faller. Those were the international police called them, humans who appear from an ultra wormhole, and those who are baited a great deal of the energy that pours out from them. 
She had come through a wormhole, she was in it from another world, and she was put on our team to help draw the UBs to us. And now you're repeating history. You've got to fall right here, haven't you? That's right, boy, I'm talking about you. Yes, he's true. He's passed through an ultra wormhole. Christian, we, we exposed the energies. He may indeed be a faller. But... I'm back! I'm sorry, young Christian, but let's continue this talk another time. I'm sorry, you two. I couldn't reserve uh, reservation at the restaurant. Seems a very popular place. Hey, missy. Ah, oh, Mr. Nano, I didn't realise you were here. Another one of those morning monsters appeared this time on Pony Island. I'll tell you more when you get there. We'll meet at the floating restaurant in the Seafolk Village. Yo, hands down, Annabelle is like one of the best girls in Sun and Moon. Alright, so it looks like um, Pony Island will be counting on you. So meet at the floating restaurant. So that looks like the next place we have to go. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It looks like we'll only be capturing one more, um, which is kind of upsetting. But we will see if we can try and capture them all. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Please give the video a subscription as well if you guys did enjoy it. If you want to stick around for some more content. And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.